Hi guys, welcome to Writer's Workshop with Miss Grin. Before we get started, I want you just to grab a plain piece of paper and something to write with, okay? Now, just set up your paper to look something like this. So you'll just have a box at the top, a box in the corner, and about four or five lines, okay? You can do this after the video. Just have a piece of paper ready, and I'll show you this again after the video, okay? Let's start off today, though, by reading our objective together and then singing our welcoming song, okay? Repeat after me. Today we will identify and plan the type of writing we will write. Let's start with our gathering song. We are gathering on the road. Everyone is here now. We are here. We are gathering on the rug. Everyone is here now. We are here. Awesome job. Writers, writers. Think back to when we were super writers back in kindergarten, okay? And think about all of the different kinds of writing that we wrote about. Think if you can remember how-to writings. If you remember learning and writing how-to writings, put your finger on your nose. Wow, look at all of those friends that remember how to do a how-to writing. So today I wanna to teach you that just like there are different kinds of books and there's different kinds of flowers and there's different kinds of dogs, there's also different kinds of writing. And before a writer can even get started with, with their work and with writing, they first think to themselves, hmm, what type of writing am I going to write today? What am I going to write about? So before we get started planning our writing, I just want to show you two examples, okay, of writing. So watch me as I put up our first example of writing. And what do you notice about this writing? Let Miss Grant read it to you. One day I went to a party with Miss Kennedy. We liked to eat the cake and we played with the balloons. If you remember, this is called a narrative or a true story. And we love and we're so good at writing true stories. Now let's see if you recognize the next piece of writing I'm gonna show you. What about this writing? And I'm gonna flip through because it has a few pages. What do we notice about this piece of writing compared to this piece of writing? Shout it out. Yes, so this is a true story. It's a narrative, it tells us a story. But this work is a how-to. It tells us how to do something. Let me read it to you real quick. First, get two pieces of bread and peanut butter and jelly. Then put the peanut butter on one piece of bread and put jelly on the other piece of bread. Finally, put the bread together and eat the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So let me show you real quick. I made a little anchor chart to help us just refresh our memory about a how-to writing, okay? So take a look up here at our how-to writing. Move it just a little closer. In our how-to writing, there's three things that we need. We need it to tell us what to do in steps. We need to number our steps in our how-to writing. And it has a picture for each step. So I'm going to go back through my story that I just read to all of you. And I want you to put a thumbs up or thumbs down if my how-to has all three of these parts. You ready? Okay. Does my writing tell us what to do in steps? Let's see. First... Then, finally, right, it has those starter words, those how-to words. What about numbers, the steps? Hmm, do I have numbers on my page? When you see it, put your thumbs up. Wow, yeah, and point to where you see my numbers on my picture. In the corner, right, so we have one, two, and three, very good job. Now, 
do I have a picture for each one of my steps? And we learned before that our pictures have to make sense with the writing. So let's see. I was talking about getting two pieces of bread. Yeah. And my peanut butter and jelly. Ooh, and I even have labels to help me. Awesome. And then does this step have a picture? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Great. And what about our last and final step? Does it have a picture? Wonderful. Awesome job. So now, writers, it's your turn to try. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Who is ready for a challenge? Okay, so I made another quick, 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 quick anchor chart just to help us out. Like we said, we have to plan the type of writing, but I said before writers can even get ready to write, they need to know what they're going to write about. So we already know that we're going to focus on writing a how-to piece, but I just thought it'd be a little helpful if I just helped us give a few ideas of some topics that we could start with. So I'm going to read a few, and if you think that one of these topics is something that you definitely know how to do, and you want to write a how-to about it, just give yourself a big pat on the head, okay? How to write your name. How to play a sport. How to ride a bike. How to tie your shoes. How to get dressed. How to do a morning routine. You can even write about how we do our morning routine in school. First we hang up our book bags, then we get breakfast, and so on. Or you could write about your morning routine you've been doing now at home. How to brush your teeth. How to make a sandwich. These are just a few ideas. If you have another idea that you want to write about, go for it. Maybe it's how to make a pizza. Maybe it's how to draw a beautiful picture. Whatever you want to write your how-to on, go for it, okay? So, writers, today and every day, we have always, before we can get started, have to think about our topic. What are we going to write about for that day, okay? And what is it going to look like? And is it going to sound okay, right? So, Who's ready to go off and think of one of these topics and write their how-to story? Awesome. Off you go. So just with your piece of paper, I want you to set it up similar to this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can, you can, if you have three of them, if you need four or more, feel free to add as many pages as you need to your how-to, okay? And when you're done writing it and you have all of these parts of your how-to writing, and beautiful pictures with labels and color, then I want you to send a picture to your teachers. I want you to either call your teacher and read it to them or read it to someone in the house and see if they can do your how-to by following the steps, okay? Can't wait to hear about it, guys. Good luck.